shit. Oh, 116. Warm up. Oh, shit. 113. Woo! That's down. crazy. How's that down? That seems so hard. Woo! Where I'm landing on it. Terrifying. 115. I lose respect for Khabib. Every day that go past, I lose a little bit of respect for the man. And that's just the truth, though. Like, a couple years ago, his manager told me the only thing he wants to do is fight Tony Ferguson, fight Conor, and then retire. And it's just like that uh, That right there, you know, it, I, I can't give respect to a man like that. If you say you're a fighter, you take on all comers, especially when I'm standing right here in front of you, and you see that I'm the biggest challenge out there. And you see that there's more challenges out there, not even just me. There, there's so many more guys. And, you know, he, he picks and chooses fights as much as he can. And the man will go go even as far to use his own religion to get out of fight. And and don't mistake what I'm saying. Like I have a lot of Muslim brothers, and and there's guys like Balil Muhammad who just fought in Chicago this last week, who is going through Ramadan right now, and he cut weight through that. And he weighed in in the morning, didn't rehydrate until later in that night, and still fought and still won and still looked impressive. When you got guys like Khabib that's sitting out and, and saying they can't fight for five six months because of it, and I just can't get no respect to somebody like that. So he he holding on to that title, but I'm. I'm I ain't even worried about that. <laughs> right now, after I'm done watching UFC Singapore, I'm gonna go back and figure out how to beat George St. Pierre because that's that's really the only fight that, that makes sense for either one of us. And so it seems this fight was having some trouble coming together. It took a little bit. Or why did it take so long for it to come together? Uh, I I was I wasn't. Uh, I mean. They wanted to pay me the same for this fight that they wanted to pay me for um, Paul Felder. So if Paul Felder would have been the you know an unranked guy, a three round fight. And, you know people wanted to see it. It was a good fight, but it wasn't a headliner. It wasn't a headliner. You know they, they didn't they didn't want to put that on as a headliner. You know my stock rose after that fight with Khabib you know I stepped in I, I uh, you know I think a lot of guys could have would have stepped in there and uh, you know kind of gone in there for a payday or gone in there to but I, I fucking went for it man you know I went in there on very little training for him uh, you know I was training for a guy that was totally totally opposite and I went in there and I, I freaking I hung in tough I gave him I gave him uh, you know, I gave him some trouble so I think my stock rose definitely with the fans. The fans respect hopping in there on a day's notice and, and, and taking it to the best in the world. So the fans are really behind me. I think the fans right now. I've never been. Um, I've never been so high in the fans. Um, in the fans' kind of opinion, you know. It's, uh, so I think that that deserves. You know, if, if I'm going to headline a, a five round fight, a title fight against a guy that's ranked, you know, twice as high. As the guy, you know, I should I should definitely get some a, a little more. It's a, you know, added risk for me, and you know they're gonna make a lot of money. So I think I, I, I we got to work together. You know what I mean? It's definitely something where you got to work. We we got to work together. It can't be me working and you know just get getting getting the same. That doesn't work. Doesn't work for me.